Hey folks, uh, very good afternoon. It's great to have you here. Um, with us, we have Subi and Vikas. Subi is a songwriter who's based in Chicago. Uh, Subi writes her own songs and sings in both languages, Hindi and Urdu. She released her debut Hindi pop jazz album called Shaitan Dil last year. Her album was co-presented by the Jazz Institute of Chicago, and she was very recently selected as one of the five artists to be featured on the Emmy Awards winning annual series called Asian Influences, which runs on ABC7 in Chicago. She has worked with the Yashraj Films and the TVF, very popular viral fever YouTube series. In 2017, Subi was a speaker and performed at uh, TEDx Talks and has performed all over the US. Some of her notable venues include the SXSW Music Festival in Austin, Texas, the Kennedy Center in the, uh, the Millennium Stage in DC, and the Rockwood Music Hall in New York. Uh, Vikas Dio, who's accompanying her, is a composer, a sound designer, and on the guitar today. Uh, and at the very end, we will have a few minutes for Q&A. Uh, maybe she'll also add in a cover song. I would really request you folks to silence your phones or any other devices you have, uh, and we'll have Subi start from here. Thank you. Thanks, Mia. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for coming. Um, so I'll begin a little bit with my story. I was 22 years old when I graduated from college. I was living in New York City and working at Deutsche Bank. And I was doing fairly well for myself. But I wasn't satisfied. I couldn't exactly pinpoint what it was. But I felt like I was missing something. So every day during lunch and between meetings, I would go on Wikipedia and I'd start reading about my favorite artist, who they were, where did they start, what were their struggles, where are they now? And their stories would always inspire me. I wanted to do something different, but I was worried about changing careers. Is it all right? Is it too late? These were the kind of questions that were occupying my mind. And even though I was part of the corporate world, I could not stay away from the music and entertainment industry. So I decided to be a part-time entertainment reporter for a couple of leading, for actually one leading South Asian channel in New York. And my day job would be working on Wall Street. And during evenings and weekends, I would cover all kinds of entertainment events in New York, ranging from movie premieres to concerts to festivals. I loved interviewing great artists, and I loved learning about their journeys. So I got a chance to interview some amazing artists like A.R. Rahman, Sunidhi Chauhan, Rekha Bhardavaj, Shekhar Kapoor, Shabana Azmi. And three years of working at Deutsche Bank, I realized that um, I got this rare award, rare employee award, and I figured I'll probably be promoted soon. And then guess what I did? I quit. An accomplishment led me to pull back. Now everyone, including my family, thought it was a ridiculous move. Because let's think about it. I had just quit a golden career on Wall Street to pursue a dream that wasn't even clear to me. And I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I certainly knew what I did not want. So I had quit to discover my passion. And once I quit, I was like this coiled spring. I wanted to be everywhere and do everything. So I tried a lot of different things. By that time, I was an entertainment reporter for a couple of South Asian channels in New York. Uh, I was an audiobook narrator. I started writing and composing for short and independent feature films. And I went to graduate school to study media. So it was a very exciting and a very chaotic time. And during this time, I was interviewing Meera Nair, who I'm sure many of you know. She's an Oscar-winning film director known for movies like Namesake, Monsoon Wedding, Salam Bombay. And I got a chance to be her music intern. She was working on Monsoon Wedding, the musical, a Broadway show in New York City. And when I was working with her, I realized that passions are supposed to be pursued full time. If you're doing it on the side, then it's just a hobby. I was passionate about you know, music and Bollywood, but 
I was running away from it because I thought it was a different world, it's a distant dream. But my husband was very supportive and so I packed my bag and I took off to Mumbai to try my luck in Bollywood. I had only two friends in Mumbai. I didn't know anyone in the music industry. But I was like, let's see what happens. So for the next four years, I did a lot of back and forth between Mumbai and Chicago, and it, it was very stressful. I was shuffling between two continents. I have two completely different identities, completely different lives, completely different group of friends. And I remember it was a hot summer afternoon and I was riding in a rickshaw, which is uh, it's a vehicle without specified doors or windows. And I'm coming back after meeting a Bollywood film producer and as usual, I'm stuck in traffic. And outside I could see these kids playing on the street. Now the games that they were playing were the games that I used to play in India when I was growing up in Delhi. And it was so nostalgic that I just started singing this melody and the lyrics just flowed with it. So I quickly took out my iPhone and in the midst of, midst of Mumbai traffic, I started singing this song as it was being created in my mind. And that's how the song Bachpan happened. The word Bachpan means childhood. And this song talks about all the fun games we used to play as kids and how every day was filled with fun and laughter. सांवन जाता है ये चटपटी टॉफी सा है बचपन रह जाता है आज भी सताता है ओ नोक नुकीली बातों का ये बचपन ओ जी अकड़म बकड़म पोल बाल के किसी किनारे झोल झाल के खट्टे मीठे तोड़ ले आके ये पोषम पाकी कड़ी पिटाई छुपा छुपी की बारी आही रंग बिरंगे कंचो से तू yeah, very, very, very um, papa, 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 um, pum. Yeah, very, very, very um, papa, da, do. Yeah, very, 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 very. Yeah, really, very, very, very. Yeah, very, 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 very um, papa, da, do. Rubaru sa, phule jata hai, khil khila ke, mud jata hai. Har roz hai lagte mele, ye hai bachpan. आता है झील मिलाता है चुंबक सा चिपक जाता है वो पांच रुपये दे दे वाला बचपन वो जी कैडम लूडो तोड़ ताड़ के पी के घर खोद खाद के भूर हो गए खेल के चुप चुप रे गिल्ली को डंडा मार के आई दोस्तों संकड़ी लड़ाई थक गए अब तो सब कुछ लगता है नौटंकी है तरंगी है देसी हो के फिरंगी है आज मस्ती के जवाब को सा ये बचपन टुंटुना बजाता है गुदगुदी कर जाता है बजा के चपकने धक्का है ये बचपन
कभी असाता है जज्बाती सा बन जाता है ये चटपटी टॉफी सा है बचपन मासूम सा रह जाता है आज भी सताता है वो नोक नुकीली बातों का ये बचपन वह जी पांच रुपये दे दे ओला बचपन वो पांच रुपये दे दे ओला बचपन ओ पांच रुपये दे दे ओला बचपन थैंक यू so when i was in mumbai i did get some success i got to compose for two prestigious digital studios y films which is part of yrf yashraj films and tvf the viral fever i also composed for the national award winning film director neela madhav panda who is known for his film i am kalam but i was spending more time networking than actually creating music and it wasn't creatively satisfying so i decided to move back to chicago and be with my husband now during these four years between mumbai and chicago i had created a lot of songs and these songs were about my personal life about my journeys my experiences being in mumbai and staying there and these were not really songs that i was pitching to bollywood directors and producers these were just songs that i had created for myself I knew that Chicago has a great jazz scene and these songs I had created had a nice swing to them so I figured maybe they could work well with jazz so I posted on Facebook that I'm looking for jazz musicians in Chicago and a bunch of people replied and through them I got connected to folks in the jazz community initially the idea was just to take two songs put them out there and see what happens till i figured out what i want to do next so the first song that i created was bachpan which you just heard and the second song was lovely i had created lovely for my love for chai indian tea i'm a huge chai lover and i think it's something that makes me really happy and i feel if i get my morning cup of chai today is going to be a good day so uh so i created this song which talks about cherishing those little moments in life and seeking happiness in them and that's what lovely is about छल के बोले कि डुबकी लगे धूप सर्दियों में पिघल पिघल के गिरती बोले कि लवली है जी लवली है जी लवली ये चाहता जी कि देखो कि लवली है जी लवली है जी लवली ये चाहता जी कि देखो चाय की प्याली सिसक सिसक के बोले कि पीले मुझको आएगा मजा लतपति मसालों में डूबती कचौड़ी ललचा रही है मन को बड़ा हवाओं संग झूमते झूल खींचते मुझे के बैठ जा तू मुझ पे बचपन का ले मजा कि लवली है जी लवली है जी लवली ये जहाँ आजी के देखो कि लवली है जी लवली है जी लवली ये चाह आजी के देखो छोड़ देख दुनिया कितनी हसी हो आसमां के चाहते खुल रहे हैं चांदनी में हम भूल रहे हैं कि टूट तार गिर रहे हैं कुछ मांगले जरा 
जी लवली है जी लवली है जी लवली ये चाहत आजी के देखो ये लवली है जी लवली है जी लवली ये चाहत आजी के देखो ये लवली है ये जहाँ हाँ लवली है ये ये लवली है ये जहाँ हाँ लवली है ये ये लवली है ये जहाँ हाँ लवली Thank you. So once these songs came out, I got such a good response that I decided to go back to the studio and release some of the other songs that I'd written. And one of these other songs that I'd written is called Agosh. The word Agosh means embrace. And this song talks about being at a special moment with your special someone. When you're with someone who you love, you just want time to stop. You don't want to think about chores or responsibilities. You just want to hold on to them and be in their embrace. And that's what Agosh is about.
डट हमें ना हो वर्जों की हमें फिकर ना हो So once these few songs released, I had only a few songs out, and before I knew it, I got my first gig. Ion India, an organization in Chicago, wanted me to perform at their annual festival, and this was the first time that I performed publicly with my band in September 2016. And the performance was well received, and after that, I started getting more gigs. And someone asked me, "You've such good songs. Why don't you create an album?" And I thought, "Yeah, why not?" So just last year, I released my debut album, Shaitan Dil, and my album release show was hosted at the Old Town School of Folk Music, and it was co-sponsored by the co-presented by the Jazz Institute of Chicago. The show was both a part of the popular World Music Wednesday series and. the official jazz tour 2017 and since then i've performed at a lot of venues all over the us including new york san francisco indiana texas minnesota baltimore dc and of course chicago in may of this year i was selected as one of the five artists to be featured on the emmy award winning annual series asian influences and i was the only artist who was invited to perform at the abc7 studio chicago and the best thing is that they found me and reached out to me and just last month i performed at the prestigious kennedy center and it was nothing short of a dream come true because if 2 years ago someone would have told me that my debut album would be co-presented by the jazz institute of chicago I would perform at the Kennedy Center at the South by Southwest Music Festival give a TED talk and speak and perform here at Google headquarters today I would have laughed at them because I I never considered being a singer songwriter as a viable career option but it all happened so organically and so fast is none of it was planned there was of course a lot of hard work into play but most importantly it was all heart and it was all about in believing in yourself and what you stand for and i have a lot of belief in my songs because i i genuinely write about what i feel and i try to be as vulnerable and as transparent about my feelings as i can and uh, i really feel that i'm a i'm a good songwriter because i i genuinely and passionately believe in it and I think that's what it's about in in believing in what you do and in feeling that passion. This was December 2016 and I was in India in Delhi. 
And as some of you might know, the Indian government had announced the demonetization of the Indian currency note. And what that meant was that certain Indian currency notes were banned from the economy. And the Indian government had done this pretty much overnight. The idea was to eradicate black money and corruption. But what ended up happening was that there was an acute shortage of cash. There would be these long lines going to the ATM machine, and it would start at 7 AM in the morning, go on until 2 AM the next morning, and then start again in a few hours. And I was in India during that time. And as a songwriter, I, I wrote a song about it. And so this next song is called Malham. The word Malham means cure. And this song talks about finding a cure to heal society. मले माहौल में खड़ा खड़ा तू तो बिगल जाएगा ढूंढते रहे पर आराम की तलाश में तू थक जाएगा नक्शे बाजार में तू तोल मोल कावेलन बने बेचारी लाइन अभी लचार एक दिन भी उसको छुट्टी ना मिले दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल आज के हालात ऐसे सोच पे भी लगती हैं बीमारियाँ आसमां में तारे देखने की कोशिशों में दिखता है धुआँ भूक भूक के पेट्रोल तू तो यहाँ बस सड़े सनी खेस खबरों को पड़े और डरे दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल वो इंसान के जहान में इंसान का मूल कुछ नहीं महंगाई इतनी कि जो कमाई वो कमाई कुछ नहीं रेस है ये रेस है नंबरों का खेल है नंबरों का खेल है खेलो या मरो खेल है ये खेल है नंबरों का खेल है नंबरों का खेल है खेलो या हमारो दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा दे 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 को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा दे 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 को ही माल
मेरे माहौल में खड़ा खड़ा तू तो पिघल जाएगा ढूंढते रहे पर आराम की तलाश में तू थक जाएगा नक्शरे बाजार में तू तोल मोल कावलन बने बेचारी लाइन भी लचार एक दिन भी उसको छुट्टी ना मिले दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा दे 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 को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे को ही माल जिससे होगा बेरा दे 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 को ही माल मालम दे मालम दे मालम दे 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 कोई मालम दे मालम दे मालम दे 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 कोई माल जिससे होगा बेरा दे 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 कोई माल जिससे होगा बेरा पार दे दे कोई माल जिससे होगा बेरा दे 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 कोई मालम Thank you. I always get a little lost in this song. I think there's always the battle between the mind and the heart. And in my case it's like the heart always wins. It's almost like my heart has a mind of its own. It has its own agenda. And in the beginning I would try to resist it. And so it took me 3 careers to realize that I wanted to be a singer songwriter. But once I realized it, I just let my heart do its thing, and it took me on this amazing roller coaster ride. My musical journey and my debut album have been a very unpredictable experience, something which my carefree, playful, and naughty heart had planned for me, and hence the name of my debut album is this carefree, playful, and naughty heart, called Shaitan Dil. I want to leave you guys with two thoughts. Firstly, I think it is all right not to have a plan. In fact, I'd say maybe it's better not to have a plan because then your mind is free and you get a chance to follow your heart. And secondly, it is really important to just keep trying. I heard this beautiful saying that goes like this: "Intezar karne walo ko utna hi milta hai jitna koshish karne wale chhod dete hain." So in other words if you keep waiting for things to happen then you will only get what the hustlers have left behind so keep trying new things think outside the box follow your heart because unconventional changes the world and i'm so thrilled to announce that um, i'll be releasing the first single of my second album uh, the single will be out next friday which is september 14th on all digital platforms it's called guria this second album is going to be a very easy listening album which is vocals guitar and drums and this single is called guria and the word guria means doll and what the song talks about it's about a girl who's getting married and she's telling her mom that she's ready to be a bride and she's ready to take on a new role enter a new journey in her life and make new relationships and the song also touches upon all the indian traditions which are part of such auspicious occasions so we wanted to end on a happy note and here is guria सच क्यों मन में ना 
पिघला भूले सब जग पर वो यादें दिल में बसी हैं सब बातें ये ले गुद्दी की सगाई बाड़ी आज अपनी लो आई चंदा के पल को के नीचे चम चम सी चादर बिछाई सब मोहे देखो सजाए हो जाएगी फिर विदाई हल में हो जाए पराए हल पल नए रिश्ते बनाए बचते कुछ किस्से लम्हों के हिस्से ले जाऊंगी सब छुपा के ओए रे मैया तेरी गुड़िया ओए रे मैया अब है दुल्हनिया ओए रे ओए रे ओए रे बाजे बजाओ लड़िया जलाओ वो आगे पिया का है घोड़ा पीछे आए हम रंगी फिजाए भूलो किराए Thank you. Yeah, and uh, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. I will let Sneha take over now. Um, so, Subi, can you tell us a little bit about your journey and how you got into jazz specifically, and how do you get along with it now? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I of course had, I of course had heard jazz. Like when I moved to Chicago, and I knew Chicago is so awesome for jazz, and um, so I, you know, I'd been to the Green Mills and. Andy's Jazz Showcase, and I also went to the Montreal Jazz Festival in New Orleans, and so uh, clearly, I think as an artist, jazz was uh, there in my subconscious mind somewhere. But I had I had never imagined to to dive into jazz like that wasn't even a plan. But after uh, after I moved back from Mumbai, I just uh, knew that Chicago is so good for jazz, and I think it was just I just took a chance. Like I think Bachpan and Lovely, and they all had a had a very nice swing so i was like 
you know, let's try it. And initially it was just two songs and um, and then I, you know, I, I enjoyed it. And I think it was a very uh, challenging, it's a very challenging genre in general. But uh, for me, because I come from an Indian background and I'm used to Indian music or Bollywood, uh, jazz was very different. So for me to, I had to learn about jazz, I had to learn about improvisation and form which improvisation was very new to me because as pop artist, uh, you know, you don't really improvise. It's just, you know, the intros and you know the music interludes and you come in when you have to come in. So I think all, all those things were, um, it, was, it was a very fun experience. And, uh, and so initially it was just two songs. And then, like I said, I just started getting gigs and I didn't even have enough songs to do the gigs. And, and then I, I started proactively getting involved and, and with my album being uh, co co presented by the Jazz Institute, that was like yes, you know. <laughs> and then I just got more into it, and I'm I'm still learning jazz, so I'd say I have a uh, quite a way to go with it. Thank you. Awesome. Um, uh, with her last song, it brought good memories to my own wedding and how emotional it gets with your family around you. And honestly, those wed Indian weddings are big, like the few hundred people, and they bring in the emotions with them. So it was amazing to bring back good memories. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It was very beautiful. It was a great start to my weekend. It's very unconventional that I go to music uh, gigs like these, but sure inspires me to, you know, achieve Thank my you. own dreams. I do have some. I will get there. Um, and then she has these really unconventional stories. She brought in a, all her own wisdom along with her. So I hope this this lines up straight up for some thinking for your weekend as well. But I line up, um, like I was saying, you can line up for questions over here. Uh, but I'll get to my next question. So what's next for you? You mentioned that you have a second album. Can you describe a little more the theme, uh, your thoughts along with it? Sure. So um, I actually want to explore other genres. And the first album was pop jazz. So for the second one, it'll be like an acoustic album with uh, vocals and guitar. I think I'll, I'm going to dive more into folk. Um, I'm Punjabi, so I also want to dive into Punjabi music and uh, Hindi is, of course. So it's gonna be a folk pop and a very acoustic, easy listening album with more focus on vocals. And I'll try to bring in some of my improvisation from jazz, whatever I'm learning and kind of mix it with folk. So that's the plan. Thank you. So we have a question here. Hi. First, uh, thanks. Uh, it's really very impressive. I mean, and your voice is fantastic. Um, I'm curious. Thank you. Uh, it sounds like there's an influence of Brazilian uh, jazz. Um, so I, I wanted to ask if there was anything that kind of drew you toward that uh, category of jazz. And then secondly, I was curious to ask, uh, have you ever pursued or pr received uh, formal training, um, voice training, uh, composition training? It's, it's really, really good. Or does it just come? It just comes. Gotcha. Uh, so the first question with Brazilian jazz, I, I, I would like to give credit to Vikas for this one because he's actually, um, um, I, I was initially doing um, just jazz with my band, with my jazz, uh, my band who are all jazz musicians in Chicago and that was just um, Chicago jazz fused with Indian music and that sounds very different. I met Vikas because I was introduced to him by D. Alexander who's a really, really popular jazz artist in Chicago. And uh, Vikas's style, I think, has a lot of Brazilian jazz to it, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah, and, and so when, when, um, when the idea came to take my songs and, and we are working as a duo, it, I think it really opened my ears to that style of jazz. And so uh, I think there was a lot of uh, give and take. Like I, I learned from the way he was playing on how to phrase my, my lyrics or how to work around my songs. And so that influence, I would say, comes a lot from from the exposure I've had by working with Vikas. Um, and for the second question, which was about formal training. So um, I grew up in Delhi and I moved to the States when I was 15. So I received about eight years of uh, Indian classical training in, in India. And when I moved to the States, I didn't have a guru and I couldn't, I couldn't find anyone. Um, so I, I didn't continue that. And then I, I had vocal coaches, I had a Broadway coach and um, as in a, a coach who was working on Broadway. And so my, I was part of the choir. I used to sing Christmas carols at senior citizen centers and events and festivals. So I think my, um, my style isn't uh, Indian classical anymore. It evolved and 
uh, I'd, I'd like to say it's kind of like Indo-Western. It's, uh, it's kind of like a mix. Uh, and that's purely because of geographical reasons, because of being in the US. And, uh, and I think I've, right now my coach is an uh, opera singer, so I'm also you know, learning techniques that way. So it's been a, a blend of a, a lot of different styles. Uh, so that's what it is. And writing, I've been writing ever since I was in school. So the lyrics and everything are just from what I observe. I just write it down. So thank you. Doesn't she sound awesome? Like imagine chasing your childhood dreams from writing to singing and now learning from an opera singer. Thank She's you. more inspiring by the minute she talks. So we have a few minutes. If there are no questions, she can sing a cover for us. Um, so if you're comfortable, we can do one more song sure. and keep the show running. You Thank wanna, you. If you guys want to hear it, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so this uh, this cover that we'll do, uh, it's called Nindya Re. And uh, Nindya means sleep. And this is actually a lullaby where this guy is uh, calling sweet, sweet sleep to come and um, help him fall into these dreams and into his fantasy world. And um, this is a Coke Studio song. It was released on Coke Studio Pakistan. The artist who had composed this song, his name is Kavish. He's a Pakistani artist, and uh, I absolutely love his work. And uh, so this is our rendition of his song. Mindy. 